How does the shark jack work? This time on Hack 5. Hello and welcome to Hack 5. It's your weekly dose of technology. I'm your host, Darren Kitchen, and I can raise my arm over my head. This took a few weeks of physical therapy. I got hit by a car. Wear your helmet, kids. I was wearing mine, and uh, if I wasn't, I probably wouldn't be here right now. So be safe in the bike lane. Um, but this video, I'm talking about the Shark Jack, what it is, how it works, and uh, a little bit about the design. And for the most part, if you've been watching Hack 5 for a while, you might have figured out that basically the Shark Jack follows in the footsteps of, say, the Bash Bunny, and like its smaller brother, the USB Rubber Ducky, and is in fact a hot plug attack tool, but for Ethernet instead of USB. Uh, but to answer the question, what is the Shark Jack? It is a payload platform that runs scripts and programs to automate IT tasks and uh, pen testing tasks. It speaks the Hack 5 language, as it were, with its uh, RGB LED for status, its little toggle switch to uh, flip between arming mode and attack mode. Uh, of course, it's got a simple scripting language with the power of bash. And of course, there's a lightweight Linux sock under the hood, so you've always got a root shell waiting for you. Um, but that's pretty much it. I mean, how does it work? Well, the gist is uh, you, you charge it up, you know, you charge the little internal battery, you uh, flip this here switch to uh, attack mode, boop, and then you go ahead and plug it into a LAN, you know, a LAN that you have obviously permission to test, uh, and then the payload will run. And then depending on what that payload may be, it may get an IP address from DHCP, it may run in stealth mode, then it's gonna do a bunch of stuff. And generally when the light goes green, the trap is clean, meaning it's done with its attack, you can go ahead and unplug it. Uh, and then if you flip the switch here over into arming mode and then plug it into your computer, your computer gets an IP address from the shark and then you'll be able to pull off all the loot, all of the logs and all the good stuff it nabbed uh, over SSH. And that's also how you can change out the payloads. Um, that's that's the gist, right? I mean, to make it even easier, of course, it's Cloud C2 equipped, which is our Hack5 self-hosted cloud management system. Uh, so if you want, you can get the loot, you can change out payloads, you can get a root shell right from your web browser. Like seriously, the browser on your phone. Uh, so anyway, that's the uh, just an epic feature. And if you haven't tried Cloud C2, go and check it out. There's a free community edition available. Um, and it's not hosted by us. We don't see your bits. It's all, you know, your your bits. We don't want your bits, as it turns out. That's just not something I want to get involved in. Uh, I don't know if it's the pain meds, <laughs> but I am just like super happy. And, you know, this the thing is, this is something that I have wanted my whole career. You know, even starting as like a, a sysadmin, uh, it, it's just, it's crazy to think how simple and powerful it is to have a little Linux box in your pocket, you know, a little battery powered guy with an ethernet jack uh, to test networks. And, you know, I figured I'd speak a few words about the design because this has been a really fun project to design. You know, there's been a lot of really cool challenges um, in making the device namely so conveniently small. Uh, you know, uh, I, I'm really proud of what we came up with. And, and one of the coolest aspects of this design, as I hold it here uh, blinking for you, is that we're actually using the light pipe. You know, we're using the RJ45 jack as a light pipe, uh, which I just thought was really cool. Uh, that way you can see the red, green, blue LED. Um, and from, you know, there you actually have a jack, not a, not a port, right? But like in the same way that you have a jack on any USB device, you've got a jack on an Ethernet device, which may not sound like much, except think about anything out there that does this. You're not going to find one. They're, they're not SMT parts. So that took a, a little bit of uh, fun industrial engineering, and it's not something you find every day. So I'm really proud of that. Uh, and it's also the first Hack5 product with uh, a battery in it. So that was fun. It's the reason why, you know, it comes in the cool metal tin. It's the reason why it's so important to, uh, to read all the uh, important information about lithium batteries and things of that nature. Um, but otherwise, it's just a really fun experience learning how to do battery-based stuff. And, and the cool thing about that means you can flick the switch and run your payload on any port, right? It doesn't have to be 
you know, a PoE port. So it'll do both PoE uh, or power over Ethernet and the like much more common non-PoE ports. And then charging it up USB-C, you could literally charge it off your phone if you wanted to. It only takes a few minutes. Um, and uh, I'm just really proud of that. Uh, but of course, the best part really is you guys, because like all Hack5 platforms, you know, it's it's the community aspect that makes it what it is. So so like the Bash Bunny, we're building on that, and it's built on an open payload framework uh, using obviously the the power of Bash because it's a Linux box under the hood, but also custom commands. And so it makes it really powerful and really easy to use and get started. Uh, and of course, we're hosting a repository of all the best payloads. So you've got plenty of good stuff right out of the box. Uh, and you know, there's also a super helpful uh, community of folks on the Hack Five forums. So um, I've just been having so much fun getting in there. I, I'm going to show you one of the stupid simplest payloads ever. I just I wrote this um, with what is it? Five lines. Essentially, it's five lines. Uh, this is a simple internet access testing payload. All it really does is lights the LED red with LED R solid, so it doesn't blink, right? And then it just waits. It waits until it checks, you know, ETH zero. It's Ethernet port four an IP address. And it does this forever until it gets an IP address. So you plug it in, it turns red. Gets an IP address, the very next line in the script, LED Y, you might imagine that means yellow. So it goes from red to yellow, and then it just waits until it's able to use wget to download a file from, well, I just use example.com, right? So it goes red, gets an IP address, goes yellow, sees if it can get out to the internet, LED G goes green. I mean, it couldn't be simpler. Obviously, that's not like a crazy hacks or pen test payload, but just to see what's available with like five lines of bash is pretty cool when, you know, you just imagine in IT all of the crazy use cases, especially when you've got two of these, but uh, we'll get into some more fun, nefarious, interesting uh, gymnastics you can do with these guys. Uh, and of course, if you've got wild ideas for payloads, please drop them in the comments. We're working on a firmware update coming out here real soon that's gonna be adding a bunch of really cool tools like HPing, TCP dump, P0F, and grep, and ping. I mean, so many awesome things that you can do when you've got this kind of a little Linux box. Um, so let me know what you would like to run on this uh, in the comments. And we're also going to be kicking off another series of this here payload, uh, covering all the best, as well as, you know, you getting the ability to win some awesome Hack5 gear with an epic new gear giveaway campaign. Um, but that was it. I just wanted to today give you guys the, the, the gist and, and what's coming up and a little di deeper dive and I can lift my arm over my head. So I'm proud of that. Uh, <laughs> and I wanted to hint uh, that we're soon going to be presenting uh, some awesome content on the channel from Glitch of Glitch Tech and Cody of Redia and MG of OMG and probably WTF if you've ever met him. Um, but in any event, uh, that's it for right now. Um, it's good to be back. Uh, and, and with that, I'm Darren Kitchen. Um, always wear your helmet. Um, uh, you know, even while watching YouTube videos, just in case you never know. Uh, and, and, uh, trust your techno list. <laughs>